Good morning, all my brothers and sisters in Christ. Happy Sunday. It's a beautiful day here in Berlin, Maryland. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, the blessings that I've received from the Lord. Let me tell you, brothers and sisters, hasn't always been like this. And the reason I talk about my blessings is I want you guys to keep the faith. Um, when I used to leave my mom's after bringing in eight, ten loads of laundry with four little kids, taking it down the basement, bringing it back up, putting it back in my car, having to bring it up 16 steps, put two kids in car seats, wasn't very much fun. And my mother did always say, keep the faith. Because she knew that my life wasn't going to get easier anytime soon. So, there's been times I didn't have enough money to feed my kids. I would run out of food on a Wednesday. And I got very creative. And back in the day, you could write a check. And then if you tear the bottom of it, um, the check where the account number was, it would take an extra two days to go through the bank. So by Friday, my money would be in there. And I worked full time with my four kids, five and under. It, it wasn't easy. Um, I was so tired. My insides of my bones used to hurt. And a lot of nights I would lay down with the kids and read them a book. And I would wake up the next day. And... I would still be in my work clothes. It was it was not easy at all. And I think the Lord's letting me rest, but now I'm going to be um I don't like to tell what I do, but there's a homeless shelter around here that has 54 people living there. And I lived in a homeless shelter, and I knew what it was like to eat meat that was um, cooked three times, three different days. So I'm going to be making some little dinners for them. That's what I can do to pay it forward because I've been in the situation. So I, I can really relate. And because my, my life has not been easy. And I, I am blessed right now. And I, I want you guys to know that it won't always be this way for you. And um, I want you to pray for my um, friend Gloria. It's having some health problems. The Lord's going to beat it. I, I know he is. And um, pray, pray for us believers. Because sometimes it can be really lonely. You're thinking that. You're, you're here by yourself, but I forget who the Lord told, but the Lord said, you're just not the only one that believes in me. There's 5,000 more here on this earth. Ah, my Bible's right here. I should look up the verse. I'll look it up and let you know what that is all about. And um, the Lord's going to be coming quickly. And let's pray for the non-believers that they open up their heart and let the Lord in. Because what a shame it's going to be to leave our family behind. And in the Bible, it tells you that your worst enemies are going to be people of your own family, which is really sad. And I'm not the only one. It, ha it happens to most born-again Christians. It really does. Because the Lord said it's going to happen. And it does. But that's okay. You just, like, live the best... Um, Christian life you can. We're all sinners. I ask for forgiveness every day. And, and I hope that I'm going to be worthy to go into the kingdom of heaven. But I will because the Lord said so. So, just want you guys to keep the faith. And for my targeted individuals out there, um, don't be scared of them. They're scared of us. We have something very special. 
and we wouldn't be targeted if we weren't lambs of God. So I want you all to have a great day. God loves you, each and every one of you, and be the reason somebody smiles today.